Hey everyone, it's Cece here and today I am going to show you how to create a macrame baby mobile just like this one you see here. So let's get straight to it. baby mobile project I'm using a three millimeter twisted single strand cotton cord and I'm also using a couple of wooden rings the first one is about 13 centimeters in diameter and the next one is 25 centimeters in diameter this pattern will also work if you use something a little smaller or a little bigger for both rings so not too fussy with that but I do find that the three millimeter cord is the best cord to use for this project now for the first part of the project, you'll have to cut two cords to three meters each and also two cords to two meters each. So I have pre-cut those here. And what you just need to do is find the center point for each of these cords. So I like to grab the two ends for each and then just fold them in half and then do the same with the two meter cords. Okay, so now that we've found our center points, you want the two two meter cords to be in the middle of the group and you want the two three meter cords to be on the outside of the groups. So I'm just gonna line mine up like so and I'll have the two three meter cords on the left and the right of the group. Now I'm gonna start knotting. So here are my four cords grouped together and this is my center point that I found earlier. I'm just gonna flip these over like that and what I should have here is the two outside cords are the three meter cords and the two inside cords are the two meter cords. So I'm just going to create a row of square knots using the two three meter cords as my working cords. And I'm starting my knotting just above the center point of my cords. So you want to knot a total of 10 square knots in a row and that should give you enough to create a gorgeous little loop that you're going to hang your baby mobile with. So now we're just bringing these two ends together like so and then grabbing the two outside cords on one side I'm just going to create another five square knots but around all of those other cords in my group. What I like to do now is tug lightly on all of the cords on the inside because you can see here, they're not sitting very neat inside the loop there. So if I just lightly pull on all of the cords, it'll shuffle everything down and make it sit really nice and neat like so. So now we're going to take all of our cords and divide them into two groups of four cords each. So here I have divided my cords into their groups and what you want to make sure you're doing here is the outside two cords need to be the longest cords in the group. These are the cords that we're going to work with. So now I'm just going to create another row of square knots using the two outside cords. At this point, you may want to hang up the piece and work from it hanging. It probably will be a little bit easier, but I'm just going to keep it on this board so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay, so I've done five square knots on this side. Now I'm just going to flip it over and do the same on the other side. Again, you want to make sure that the two outside cords are the longest cords in your group. So 
So now that I've finished my five square knots on each side, it's time to grab the smaller of the wooden rings and I'm just going to place it over the top and make sure that these two arms are the right lengths. Now they're just a little bit too short for me, so I'm actually going to add another square knot and then they'll be perfect. Okay, so now I'm happy with the length that that is sitting at, so I'm going to attach these arms to the ring. Now, the way I'm going to do that is by creating a double half hitch knot using each string over the wooden ring. What you need to do in this step is make sure that your wooden ring is knotted as tightly as you can to the last square knot in that arm there. Your finished attached arm should look like this. All right, so this is my little hanging part of the mobile and I'm really happy with it. I think it's super cute. So now we're ready to move on to the next part of our project, which is attaching the bigger hoop to this piece. Now for the next part of the project, you'll need 12 cords cut to one meter in length each. So now I have my 25 centimeter ring and I'm going to attach it using these cords here. So put that one to the side and I'm going to create a row of 10 square knots. Okay, so here I have finished my 10 square knots and if you're wondering how you can tell how many square knots you've done, what I like to do is count down one side, so I'm doing the right side, and just count how many little lines there are down the side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now I'm just going to repeat this on the other side. Okay, so now I am finished on both sides and this is when we again need to check if we are happy with the length that we've created. So I just hold it up like so and my baby mobile will hang like that, which I am very happy with. So now I am going to attach the ring using a double half hitch knot and all of the cords in the arm. Again, you want to make sure you're pulling this string as tightly and as closely as you can to the top of the arm there. So now we take our one meter cords and you want to start at one end and measure about 20 centimeters down and then fold the cord in half. Now with this loop, we're going to create a lark's head around the inner ring. Like so. so now we're going to repeat that with another one meter cord except this time when I am creating the Lark's head knot, I wanna make sure that my short cords are on the inside of the group. 
like so. So you should end up with four cords together. The two inside ones are really short and the two outside ones are really long. Now I'm just going to take this group of cords and create another vertical row of 10 square knots. Once we finish that, we're again going to attach these cords to the ring using a double half hitch. So making sure that we're putting the cords behind the ring and then creating the double half hitch knot around like so. I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side of the rings. So at this stage, what you'll want to do now is just work your way around the ring and make sure that all of the cords are kind of even in quarters. To do that, you just kind of have to eye off and make sure that everything looks straight and just shuffle the cords along the ring so they're in the right place. The other way you can do this is just grab a tape measure and measure the distance between the two. So that's 15, 15. That one's a, maybe shuffle that way a little bit. And 15, perfect. So now I'm going to take another two of my one meter cords and just attach them the same way I did before. So I'll have about 20 meters on the inside length of cord and creating a lark's head knot around the inner ring. This time, however, I am going to create a spiral knot with these cords. So that is just a half square knot repeated over and over again on one side. So I am going to go with my right side today. Okay, so here I have done 20 half square knots, which should work out the same length as 10 full square knots. And now I'm just going to attach these cords, again using the double half hitch knot and flicking those strings to the back of the ring and knotting around it like so. You want to position these knots so they're centered in between those other two arms like so. Now I'm just going to repeat this in each gap. So I will have four little spiral knotted arms in total. Now the next thing we need to do is just cut all of these little strings that we have left. Now you will notice that we have a couple really long strings which are coming from this part here. I want you to leave those, don't cut those because I'll show you what we'll do with them later. But just go around on all the other arms and cut them to the same length. So I'm just gonna cut them all really short and then I'll brush them out with a little comb so it's like a nice fluffy fringe on the end of the arms. Now remember this one is attached to the arm that comes from the little loop, so I'm not gonna cut these ones. I'll just move on to the next. Okay, now you should have something that looks like this with your little fringes around the outside, and then you'll have the longer strings coming off your arms where the loop is attached to. So you'll see if you come to these four cords that the two outside cords will still be the two shorter cords, and the two inside cords are still really quite long. What I like to do with these is measure 35 centimeters 
which is here, and then take that string and loop it around to where the other square knot arm is. Now I'm just going to create a lark's head knot around this ring like so. So you take the string under and then pull it behind itself and then bring it around and pull it through. You'll see that now I have a really cute little hanging piece of string, which I think will add a really nice little decorative bit at the end. I'm just gonna repeat this, going around with all four of the cords. So what I like to do as I go is just check that the strings are both hanging at the same height. Coming to the other arm and we wanna use those two inside cords. Bring it around back to this arm. Under, behind itself, over and through. So now I have finished attaching all of my strings in the little loops around. And what I like to do is cut off any little ends to the same length as these tassels just to give it a nice finish. So I'm just going to... I also like to grab one more length of string and just create a double half hitch knot around the ring with both ends. like so, and then pull that tight. And then that will just help to hold that lark's head knot in here in place nicely. Okay, so you can see here that I've finished cleaning up this part of the baby mobile and it's Got a really cute little fringe here and the loops come around from the front. So now I'm just going to work my way around and do this with the rest of the baby mobile. Now when we get to these ends here, which don't have any fringe with them, what I just like to do is flip this over and grab these two ends and tie them in a really small knot behind like so. And then I'm just gonna cut those ends really close to that knot. And then you won't be able to see those ends in your baby mobile. I'll just do that with the other side as well. Now the next thing that you can do, which is an optional step, is I like to add some more fringe on the inside ring. So to do this, you just need some short lengths of cord, probably about 15 centimeters will be more than enough. And then you get your cords and you just create a lark's head knot, like so. And you do that all the way around the ring. I like to make sure I'm adding the same amount of strings in between each gap, just so the circle stays even. So now that they're all attached to the ring, I'm just going to go around and cut these to length and brush them out so they turn into a fringe. All right, it's time to get this piece hung up and see what it looks like. 
So here's our finished baby mobile. And as it is, it's a really simple, beautiful design. However, the best thing about it at the moment is that now you can add whatever kind of decorations you like to make it more personal to your own baby room. So some people like to add little animals or different colored shapes. What I'm going to add is a few beads and also a couple of rainbows. So here are the beads that I'm going to add. So I've just got a couple of little beads with a tassel on the end. And if you don't know how to make a tassel, I do have a video for how to make these. And then the other thing I'm going to add are these really gorgeous little rainbows that I've made. And I also have a tutorial on how to make these rainbows, so make sure you check that one out. So now I'll add them to the baby mobile. Now I'm just attaching these little rainbows using a lark's head knot around the outside ring. Oh, it's just so cute. I love it. So there you have it guys, my finished macrame baby mobile. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you'll try to make one for yourself with all your own very cute little decorations for your baby room. Thanks so much for watching guys and here's to finding our peace and creativity.